Hi there, this is Chris Kellett with 123Muse and we're going to look at the new Slate 2 widget. Um, but first of all, let's take a look at Slate. Now Slate is a, is a, a great app and a web browser app from Adobe that allows you, gives you the ability to create really interactive stories. And we can see here on my iPad here, if we click into one of these stories, it loads up and um, as you scroll down, you have all different scrolling animations similar to the ones that we see with uh, fixed widths sites in Muse. And we can see we've got these really nice different animations running through and so on. Okay, so, but hi, hi, uh, sorry, Slate lets you build the projects in both your device, so your iPad, your iPhone, or other tablets and also on the web. So if we go into our projects here, we can see an article that we created here and we can go in and we can start editing, adding new sections. You can see here, I can add new images and all sorts of things, galleries and uh, very useful different components. And then I can also change the look. So I can change the entire look of something, let's say, we change it to this look and I can change it instantly. Well, that's all well and good, but what do you do with the article once you've published it? Well, we created a widget before called Slate and that allowed you to place the widget on the page. Um, let's just bring up the browser here. Um, and that was great, but a lot of people have been asking for the ability to pull those articles into the page, and we can do that through a light box, and we're going to take a look at that. Let's just take a quick look, though, at this in the browser as well. So we were looking at that on the iPad. Let's just look at the browser. So if we, if we uh, open that article up, we can see that we can do everything that we could do in the, um, in the iPad app. We can also do it within the browser here and we can add videos and photo grids and slideshows. So you, this is a really great way of creating articles. It's kind of like a blogging tool, but at the moment there is no way to um, place these articles on the page apart from either embedding the article directly or uh, with one of our widgets. So let's go over to Muse now and take a look at our new widgets. So opening up Muse here, and we've got this blank template, just a simple template. If we scroll down to our Slate 2 widgets, there's two widgets here. There's one called Base and one called Add. So first of all, I'm gonna drag Base onto the page. And the reason why there's two widgets is because one widget controls the look and feel of the hover effects and so on. And then the other widget just adds an article. So this first one that we put down, we can see that we have our Slate article ID. We have some alt text for the image here. And then we have our hover color, uh, our light box color. And then there's a built-in icon, but we can also use custom icons. So I'm just going to drag this into place. I'm going to make it uh, proportional. So I'm just going to shift and drag that. There we go. And let's preview this. And we can see when we click hover over it, we get this nice animation effect here and we click on it and the article loads up in a, um, in a light box and the user can read the entire article. And when they click out of it, they get back to the page. So this is a really useful uh, widget because they, it doesn't take the user off the page. Now that we've got that on there, let's uh, let's just change the overlay color to let's say for instance this green, and then we will add a custom icon. So I'm going to click add, and let's choose uh, let's choose let's choose the slate icon, the slate icon, and I'm going to change that to black, and let's drop the opacity down there. Let's see what happens now. If we hit preview again, now we get the Adobe Slate and we get that nice black hover and we get an article again. Great, so everything's working fine. Now let's grab the second widget and the second widget is adds additional articles. So all the code for running the um, effects is in this one, but if we add another widget to the page, so let's just resize this as well. So just drag that down into place. There we 
go. And now if we hit preview, we've got our effects running on both of them. And we can see this is pulling our second article in here. And you can see here that all we've got in this additional widget is just the Slate article URL and the alt text. But we can add, we can add more to the page. So let's just drag those down here. And let's grab some more of these, just duplicating like this. There we go. And where do we get that URL code from? Well, let's go over to Slate in our browser. And if I go back to my articles here, I can see I've got uh, an article that Dan's just created. So I'm gonna click on share. And we can see when we click on the share, we get this, um, this URL. So I'm just gonna copy that URL, go into this widget here and paste the whole thing in and then just delete everything there. I could just write it down and just uh, type it, but I've just done it that way. Let's grab another article as well. So let's grab, for instance, um, this article here. And we've got this URL here. So I'm gonna click copy and go into a slate article and do the same process again. Paste that in, delete all of that, delete that, and just let it run. And now when we hit preview, so we've got our four articles here now. So we've got this nice long article here uh, that Dan wrote. And you can see that we've got all the effects running here. We've got video that we can play. And this is all managed from our either iPad app or from the browser. So this is, and you can see the dynamics here. It's a really beautiful stuff. Um, the widget as well is responsive. So if I open up, let's op open up an article again. So this is quite a detailed article. And as I scale the page down, you can see that everything scales. Let's bring it right down here, so nice and small. And we can see that all of our content is still fully usable. And the, um, the Adobe Slate itself is fully responsive, so everything works great. So now we have our page here with all of our um, articles on, and we can update them through the Slate browser app or through the iPad app. And we can make this responsive as well, um, a responsive page. So if I go down to my seven, six, eight, uh, let's just move everything down here. And we'll move these into place. So let's say there am I balling this, but let's make sure that those are all okay, right? That's fine. And we'll bring everything back into place here. That'll do. And go down to Earth. A smaller mobile view and in this view what I'm going to do here I'm actually going to make these I'm going to place these all underneath each other in the order that we want them in and then we will let's grab all of this content here and group it and then with these here let's line them up line left and let's just drag them all into place and then if I grab the diamond here we can just drag them all out like that select everything go to align go to align to key object and then there we go so we've got everything aligned now okay so let's uh, preview this now so as we come down We've got our tablet view, and then we get to the bottom and we go to our mobile view. And if we open up in our tablet view, let's uh, just drag this out. If we open up in any of those views, let's say we're open on this article here, as we scale down, we can see everything responding nicely. So everything's working fine. So that is how you use our new slate widgets with your site. So we have the base widget, and that's the first one and that controls all of the, um, the look and feel, and then you just use the add widget to add additional articles. I hope you find that useful, and for many of you that have been asking for this edition, I hope um, that's uh, um, sorted out what you wanted. If you have any feedback or some feature requests, please feel free to do so. Thanks for watching.